Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 10. This video we're going to be taking a look at setting up our ignition system configuration details as well as our ignition coil dwell programming in our MTune software. Now our ignition system that we're dealing with has to be programmed properly, whether we're going to be a distributed spark, waste spark, or coil and plug sequential style ignition, the Max ECU has to understand what it's working with in order to go and fire the spark plugs properly more commanding the spark timing from our spark timing table. Now in addition to this, it needs to also know what the coil dwell is supposed to be to control the coil that we're working with within our ignition system. If we don't program the proper coil dwell, we'll either over or undercharge the coil, we either have a damage to the coil or we'll have less than desirable spark energy and create spark misfiring, all of which we want to avoid. So we're going to go through the basic details that we have associated with our ignition system so we know what to select based on the application we're working with and making sure that we have something like our coiled well table programmed safely and appropriately for the coil and the ignition system that we're dealing with. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with and programming our ignition configuration details for the vehicle that we're going to be calibrating and tuning. Now we're also going to be taking a look at setting up our coil dwell specific to the coil packs we have fitted into our ignition system. There's a lot of little details we need to cover here so we understand exactly what to program for all of our ignition details. Let's go in here from our start menu. We're going to navigate down here under ignition. We're going to use our drop down menu here and go into ignition settings. This is where we're going to be programming all the details for our ignition system. Now there's going to be some specific things we need to talk about. We're going to be focusing within this video, taking a look at just at as our ignition settings right here. We're also going to be talking about our dwell settings. They, these are going to be the two major points that we need to deal with. There are some other aspects within here, such as our lock angle and crank ignition angle here. Uh, we're not going to be talking about them in this video. We'll talk about them in a separate video, looking at and dealing with our ignition timing. So let's go in up here. We're going to go into ignition settings and go into ignition system type. This is where we need to tell the Max what type of ignition system we're working with and we're going to be uh, going in and calibrating on our particular vehicle. If we go in here, we have some options. We have a distributed spark, we have dual distributor, we have wasted spark, we have coil unplug sequential, and then we have coil unplug sequential two stroke wankle option. Let's talk about each individual option here of what it represents to make sure we have the correct selected for the engine that we're calibrating. Now the distributed spark will be if the engine is fitted with a distributor. This is going to be applying to older engines such as a Honda B series engine or something like a small block Chevy or small block Ford engine. Those will have a distributed fitted to them. Most modern engines do not have a distributor so those are older technology. So if you don't have a distributor you will not select a distributed spark. One thing I want to point out when we're dealing with the distributor option here is that we are going to have one coil to distribute the spark between all of the cylinders. This is a definite disadvantage because we have less time for the coil to charge and discharge. So we're going to be inherently putting out less spark energy to each cylinder. So the distributed spark is something that we may want to upgrade by going in and uh, going in and, and, and bypassing the distributed portion for the spark and actually going in and wiring in uh, coil on plug or coil near plug coil packs into our ignition system. This would be like retrofitting a small black Chevy or a small black Ford with something like Chevy LS coils. Uh, we can go in and, and run one per cylinder and then we can get rid of the way that the distributed spark actually works with just a single coil and distributing the spark mechanically be a bit more specific with that. So the distributor is going to be the least desirable of all our options. However, it is going to be something that you may need to select if the ignition system is, is going to be a distributed spark and you're not going to be interested in changing that. Now we do have an option here for dual distributor. This is less common, but we do find a dual distributor on the Toyota 1UZ engine. Uh, you'll find that they have a distributor per bank. In that particular engine, they'll have one coil associated with one distributor. And again, one distributor and one coil distribute the spark to one bank of the engine. If you do have a dual distributor, again, which is very uncommon, you would select this option here. It's going to be pretty apparent that the engine has a dual distributor because you'll see two of them fit it to the engine. Now our next option here will be wasted spark. Wasted spark is going to be, gets the name from uh, when we're dealing with 
uh, firing the coils on an engine. You could have one coil per two cylinders or it could have a coil per cylinder. We'll be firing it so that one of the cylinders will fire in the correct orientation or the correct timing. So it's going to be firing off uh, on the compression stroke for that cylinder so that we command the spark to happen when we're programming it from our ignition timing table. Now the other cylinder that's going to be paired either to that same coil output or to the coil that's going to be giving spark to two cylinders will be uh, fired on the exhaust stroke or wasted in the spark. So one cylinder will be firing on the correct time. The other cylinder will be firing on the exhaust stroke and they'll be alternating in the way it's triggered um, and the way that the wasted spark works. So we'll find in this orientation in the wasted spark, we'll have the spark delivered twice per auto cycle. And that is going to be cutting down on the available charge time. But it is a step up from dealing with a distributor or distributed type of spark with one coil pack. So in the wasted spark configuration here, these were Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.